Welcome back to more Psy Cutlery. Let me just like. There we go. Last time we completed Epic Heights. All in one part. I know. But now we're in the Eternato Temple. This temple is old. If I were to list even the exact amount of digits, it would be here all day. Which is why I want to say how amazed I am that the electrical system is still running. Except they're all rituals too. Teleport is like origins as well. But they're only like 500 years old. Just up by the mother of teleportation herself to end early archaeological stickers of this place. And that's usually the end for today. Sweet, I'll write you an essay with as many pages as there are digits in the temple's age. You do that and I'll be older by the, the temple by the time I'm done grading it. Joke's on you. That's what I'm gonna do. Me. Temple Garden. If you see a question mark like this, that means you're gonna get a, uh... An outfit accessory for Sparky. Once I've invaded the garden, if you do with them, somebody might reward you. Not me, though. I simply join the chaos! Mwahaha! <laughs> Hello. Die. So yeah, 28... Uh, I think there's only 29 enemies, or maybe there's 30 enemies. Ow. We have a lot of stuff here. I guess we pass fire. I forgot what to say. Heart ribbons. I heard there's a shop around here that sells frog costumes. And you don't look like any other frogs around here. Well, congrats, you have somehow figured out that I'm actually the only real frog in this entire temple. The others are much too big to be actual frogs. You, on the other hand. Miss, are you seeing okay through that mask? I think she is. Let's check out the new accessories we got. So the last accessory you pick up will be the one that's currently displayed on Sparky. See, we got the pacifier. For when you want to eat, but your utensil, your utensil won't stop crying. Tropical ground. For hula dancers, shenanigans, and whatnot. We have this one. May you skewer evil in the name of love. In the name of love and destruction. I skewer you. Yeah, if you threw, if I threw like, yeah, I see. So the so basically the bigger an object that you grab up and throw at an enemy, that's how much more damage it'll deal. I, I ran out of jumpy height. You stupid bee! Yeah, yeah, that's right. You're my prisoner now. Die. Yoink. Ah. So yeah, if an enemy is grabbed by Sparky, it technically counts as a bit being defeated, so we're gonna take you along with us. You're now my pet. Huh. Odd. You wear the uniform well. Why, thank you, it's so comfy! Comfort comes first to my designs. Of course, I also believe you don't have to be born a frog to be one of us. My first customer, Lillian, not that many other shop here. Thank you for your continued patronage. I must and must give my thanks to Sparky for dealing with the monsters outside. So I made a smaller uniform, just for cutlery. Take it, it's all yours. How did you change clothes while well, I'm still stuck to you? Science. Nah! No, the uniforms we make are not made from actual frog skin. Just getting that out there right now. Good. I have to talk to you again. Okay, yeah, we already read your dollar. Whee! Ah, you got splat against the wall. I'm not sure the enemies came back. No, they did not. Any other peeps to talk to in this place? Also, yes, the special button makes Lillian cough if you, like, uh, press it and you don't have any special power. You just have a little like, cough on command. Well, that's that thing, Garev. Let's go to the well, uh, dual gallery. Oh, there's something funny in here. Welcome to my gallery! 
Views the paintings in the frames. Trust me, they're totally there. You just haven't yet developed the skill needed to truly comprehend the paintings. In this case, go out, collect them hidden eyeball emblems, and complete levels they unlock. Knew so, you'll gain the appreciation of what needed to. Well, appreciate! And actually see them at all, really. And also, the art galleries are quick ways to transit between levels because at the end of each gallery is a teleportal with its shutter closed. Every dual gallery around the world is connected! But in order to venture past closed doors, you must first be deemed worthy of visiting them. You do that by, I don't know, progressing on your journey, I guess. You know what? I sounded kind of pretentious just now. Maybe I should have just gone with the whole. The art galleries are simultaneously all under renovation will open soon. Bit. Well, we should check out, like, Lillian. Or is it a Nalo costume? How will anyone tell you apart from your utensil now? Uh, the fact that one of them is a floating kitchenware, and the other is clearly a frog. A totally genuine frog. Do they even know? I don't know. Let's go into the, let's jump into the first level. Well, really, we'll do any level we can. In all my years watching ships land around here, one thing always gets me. It's how they're always oh, an autopilot! Nobody's ever aboard! Better they just show up here when their owners arrive afoot. I mean, why have a ship at all? That poor ship. It's lonely because it wants to f you to fly it. That's why it always follows you. So why not spend some quality time with it for once? You can fly to our areas you visited. Or visit Mission Control to check up on the different monsters you defeated or the music you've heard. Look, your ship will thank you, okay? So yeah, every area will have a launch pad and your ship will always visit it. If you get there on foot, which is really nice. Your training waits right through these doors. You can do them in any order, but you got to do them all if you have any both of becoming a great psychic. Once you clear the amount of training elements denoted by the number at the bottom of the screen, the nearest shutter will gain admiration of your skills in opening the purchase of your majesty. Oh, but that's just one shutter. Shutters have rather low standards, you see. You need to clear a lot more than just three assignments to impress me. <laughs> Let's everyone first. I don't think lots of tourists this time of year. Why must they always go rivet, rivet to me? I mean, gosh, it's been millions of years since Frost can only say rivet. And since then, the phrase has fallen out of fashion. I don't get it. I know, right? It's like going up to a human species to say, Look, look, ee, ee, me and that wheel. Ooh, ooh, yes, me and that fire on next tourist who tells me rivet. You're gonna set them on fire? Oh, I wanted to look down on you. You, sir. Now! You, sir. We are kindred spirits. <laughs> Let's go to this door. To the top of the temple. Die. Greetings, my student. So nice of you two. Pop in! Ahem. Your assignment for today is to... Top the temple? Congratulations, you learned to read the Russian tiles! Oh, awesome. Now I have the reading comfort and skills needed to attend, say, some prestigious kindergarten. Once you get to the top of the temple, you have a good view of the mighty Eternatone. You with the power to consume entire worlds, and yet, he watched on, just... Allowing us to exist. Allowing a lot of things to exist. So, go top the temple or two. Can do. Die. Hello, you. I love the music in this game, by the way. Oh, yeah, if you jump on a treasure chest, it bounces. That's also a. Yeah. This bunch of tapples. Ooh, Ninja Mask. I don't have enough for the next thing. Boo. Let's just check out the ninja mask. Shinobi? Or a stagehand? You decide. Historical accuracy be darned! Be darned, I say! Yeah, gotcha. Come here. So yeah, throwing one of these guys at each other would have dealt like... Instant, like, defeat damage, but since we have only these guys, it, we had to defeat them using two. Prize medal. Cowboy banana. 
You also grab costumes with uh, Sparky as well. Yeehaw! Y'all are the rootinest, tootinest for the cowboy lingo here. Yeehaw! You're now my prisoner. I'm gonna rustle up some torture for you. Wait, I feel like... No, nothing. Okay. Some teleportals are actually hidden, and they will only show up if you approach them. But you can usually tell when they're gonna be there. Gotcha. A fling you! I think I flung him so hard in that thing, he evaporated. Boink. 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 Some teleports will just be like this. This will be like, just sitting here in the open. Oh my god, so many treasure chests. So yeah, one of these will have the thing in it. Oh, that's a golden dental crown. Hiya! Come here. Hiya! I think it's always the last one you pop open. I don't know. Maybe it is. Gotcha. I have you now. Oh, that's one of the ones I was talking about. These are broken. Gotcha. We have these green ones. Like, some of us will... I think I might have, like, just screwed up. Did I? Oh my gosh, I'm doing more psychic stuff! Let me teach, let me teach, please! Knock yourself out. Yay, okay, so you collect this here cloud power. Did you press the usual button to use the powers? You watch a little pup thing. And once it's where you want it, press the button again and presto! You're not great, you're very uncloud platform! But, uh, don't get too attached to it, for it will vanish shortly. I'll be sure to make the most of the tragically brief time the clouds and I have together. By stomping all over them! That's a spirit! One need to remember. The initial puff thing in a platform that creates are harmless, but... Transforming the puff into the platform creates a powerful explosion that can take out many foes at once! And... Wow! I did it! I feel like I had to explain the cloud part of something! My last mission! This could be the last! So yeah, it's kind of like Squitter... From like, uh, Donkey Kong Country. Where the, the, the puff doesn't deal damage to things, but once it transforms, then yes, it will. I should not. I only have one more use of this left. Another devil crown. You cannot keep the crowns between levels, so don't worry about losing them. Give me that. I only need all the tadpoles I can get. I think the clouds will advantage if you step on them. Never mind. So yeah, the, the red one's always the first one, the purple's the second one, and the blue's the last one. If you find a blue one and not the purple or red one, you're like, you're gonna be like, where'd I leave it? So I'm not missing anything. Good. So if an area requires you to use a power, it'll always, like, recharge in the same spot that you found it in. Something over here, somewhere in the sky of the Temple of the Eternitoad. I found a chest, and I will beat up a plant with it, and get a tornado dash. I know, my singing's terrible. That had toothpaste in it. Nope. Gotcha. Woo! Woo! Spion! Okay, that happened. Nothing for getting rid of Mal, really. Eat all the food! Eat, 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 eat. How do you eat all that without getting full? 
Hey, Lillian, I found out some new book flowing up around here. It's one of the merry diaries written by Tara Zayak, our plant supposed Fanny Didi. The mighty eternal toad was once her pet, at least according to his diaries. She got the frog? As a pet? You see, this was hundreds of years, thousands of years ago, before your frogs involved intelligence. Seriously, the almighty eternal toad didn't involve him quite the same way as the rest of us. She may be a prehistoric sort of croak, croak, rivet frog. When of us have the power to provide light and light for the entire solar system. Yo! Diary! Sup! Dude, like, you know my pet frog I rescued last week? She's getting, like, pretty big, and I don't even know why, but it's kind of cool, I guess. Also, she's starting to glow and get really hot to the touch. Hey, the worm of the frog. The bark cuddly the frog. Frog coming is so underrated. To anyone reading this, I recommend it. I do even forgive you for peering into my deeply personal musings if you hugged a frog. Seriously, hug them all! Oh, and what else? Oh, yeah, I named my frog Astronaut Me Star Frog and Butcher Latin. I wonder if she'll get as big as a star. Wishful thinking. Guess I'll wish upon a star frog. But oh well, I'm looking forward to today's astronaut and I will spit together. Terra, Frog Snooker, Zayak. They're always good to read. If you find one of them, always read it. I don't know, this is kind of dead. You thought you were gonna sneak up on me? Oh, Look, Sparky, it's the Eternitoad! I also know if I give a name, Astroneura, or for those who have sticky things, the sun. The almighty social entity with the tacky, hideous crown. But, in spite of her terrible fashion sense, worse than even my own, we'd love her anyway. It's not like she muttered to all the temples we see, but it also allows us to, you know, live and stuff. You thought they wouldn't hide something there. But yeah, that's the almighty Eternitoad! And yeah, that crown does look tacky. It kind of looks out of place, don't you think? Look at that. Like... A bit of an elevator viewpoint, but... I rarely like the crown. I know. Hooray for diversity of opinions! I think people don't like the crown much because it's owned and up this way over by a so-called king. Yeah, we all love King Glutton <laughs> and all, but honestly, I th just think the crown crushes us all. Besides, it was actually his ancestor Glutton the first who commissioned the crown to begin with. The happened it was warped onto Astronaut's head by none other than the Mother of Teleportation. It's been passed down to Glutton at line ever since, making it the most ridiculously oversized heirloom ever. I so want to rip that thing off. Because, like, look at it. You don't know, you don't know what Astronaut is thinking. She probably doesn't even like it. I will free you from that tackiness! As soon as I'm done living... Oh, look at another one. Hi, Diary! Diary, I need to talk to you. It's been my frog, Astroner. When I found her, I... A few wishes? I wish you were even more warm and huggable. I wish you could keep me company forever. It's been, uh, 112 years since we first met, and somehow she is still around. And yes, she's getting warmer and fed away. She just wants to stop growing. I mean, she's after in the bathtub, in the swim pool, kind of think of it. Also the golf course. Yeah. I can't even take her for walks anymore without the whole narrative complaining. That thing is gonna burn down my house! They say, oh yeah, I should explain how warm she's gotten. When I let her out to play in the garden, let's just say we had fried toast for dinner that night. They were delicious! A little burnt, but I liked them that way. So saying, the whole be careful what you wish for thing? Yeah, that. Don't know how it's happening, but my wishes keep going true. I'll be in a slightly messed up ways. I wonder what's causing it. Is it astronaut? Or is it me? Actually, yeah, probably me. Somehow. I'm told all about I, how I never age. Now, I might have survived that time when a giant electrified rhino monster decided I was brave as a pancake. I think I might be immortal, is what I am saying. And if I'm saying things correctly, I think I might be immortal now, too. This is great. I look forward to spending a tournament with my dearest friend. Tara, top tulip chef, Zayak. <laughs> she actually ate tulips. Ow. Okay, yeah, carry some point. I completely... Yeah, that thing hurts you. We got a splendid spork. I'm calling him that now. It's like Power Stars. I got the spork. Also, you see, but the Apple Lemon is glowing right here.
that's to show you exactly where the eyeball emblems are on each stage. If the name is glowing, that means it's our it's is in between this and this checkpoint. So that means the area between this checkpoint and checkpoint three has a second one. So whether the waterfall, I'm swimming. Today's in our bit of meditation under waterfall. Yes. If you consider navigating devious traps and taking on hordes of monsters meditative, they sure. Are you kidding? I think screams zen like ha wreaking havoc upon vile hordes. The monsters' feudal screams of mercy. Give me a deep inner peace. We'll help you're at peace with the fact that you won't be able to swim upwards very far here. But you can swim to slayer's end, nothing else. Lily and I agree, but it, the scream of terror from monsters makes me happy, especially if it's bullwards. So, you guys, yeah, you're. The final all balls of physics. So yeah, you can't swim upwards, but you can stop your like descent. So yeah, that took him out one hit. On the other emulator just like tell like took off a little bit of his health. This is a cannon. If an enemy has like a blue part or help part, that means they're completely armored. Meaning the only way to get rid of them is to like throw stuff at them. I gotta handle that pretty efficiently. I'm not even like slowing down. I can just like keep on going. I don't even remember it. Nice try. You thought you would hit me with that, but guess what? I saw it coming. It's like a two. No, just have good visual perspective things. I don't know. Here we have this guy. I did not think this guy would show up like this early. Ow! Die. Get burnt. That's a lot of guys. That's a lot of cannonballs. I think I'm slowly gaining height. Take his cannonball with me. Okay, when you see arrows show up on the screen, that means you're in an auto scroll area. At least the game warns you before it happens. Got that. Gotcha. That's a lot of cannons. I was like to beat them. Okay, hover. If you see things like this, that means, like, only you can pass through them, enemies cannot. Gotcha. And usually the bigger the enemy, the more enemies they can plow through before it gets destroyed. Wreck them all! Oh, I didn't need to tell about, like, the items we have. We have mouthwash, clearly it restores health, leaving winter green aftertaste. That's one way to do anything. We have the amulet of Astronaut, typically become invisible like Astronaut the Eternity Toad, just like the emblem noises picked up. 
and Breath Mint. Doubles use of all special powers for one stage. You can also throw things at the... Uh, give me that. I will reach you, darn it! I will slowly, slowly make it up there. Mark my word. I got the Glaredin Splendid Spook. Now, Doodle unlocked! Yeah, that crown looks a bit... Hmm... You know, the kind of looks a bit suspicious. Why is it all technological like that? See, the crown even causes in the drawing! Not how the Eternal Toad is drawn in a spotty, minimalistic style, while the crown is overly detailed and rife with unnaturally thin lines. Hmm. Good enough. Since our critique is somehow an important part of your psychic training, I'd love you to critique your critique! Hmm, let's see now. What kind of a word is splotchy? That's the word blotch, which in turn comes from blot, which is better than from the Old Norse word blector, meaning stain. That crown is a stamp on sweet astronaut, let me tell you. And yet you use the word to describe astronaut herself, not the crown. Is she rather a stand-up on the crown? <gasps> well, <gasps> it seems I am still the master around here. Ha ha! Brat, he's right! He's right! No! Also, let me through this shutter. Let me through! You will bow before the cowboy might! Dang it doesn't respond. No one's happy with this. Yeah, we know, we know. You. I still like you. Anyway, that's enough, and next time we'll do Frogs Can't Farm. What do you mean, of course they can? Have you not seen a frog farmer? See you guys then!